gluten-free and soy-free brown sauce. Okay guys, so we're going to make a soy-free brown sauce. So normally you have what is called soy sauce, but we're not going to use anything that has soy in it to make this brown sauce. So let's get started. We're going to need about two cups of in this case, I'm using chicken broth, but you can use beef broth if you wish. So you're gonna put two cups of chicken broth here in our saucepan. We're then gonna add one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, or you could also use one teaspoon of red wine vinegar. So I'm using one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. We're also going to use one teaspoon of balsamic vinegar. We're going to use one tablespoon of molasses. We're going to use a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder. We're going to use half a teaspoon of onion powder. And we're going to use just a little, less than a quarter teaspoon of white pepper. So just a little. And I'm going to use less than a quarter teaspoon of salt, sea salt. Now I also have to add fish sauce to this, but I'm not adding it at this point in time. Okay, so we're going to now head over to the stove and we're going to simmer this sauce for about 8 to 9 minutes until the sauce has reduced. After it has reduced and we remove it from the, the stove, we're then going to add our fish sauce at the end. So let's head over to the stove. So we will let this sauce reduce, simmer down. And after we remove it from the stove, like I said, we will then add the fish sauce to it. We will allow it to cool. And then we will store in the fridge and use it as your alternative to soy sauce. Okay, so now that we have removed our sauce from the heat, we're now going to add one teaspoon of fish sauce. Now after tasting my own, I felt it could have been more salty. So I did add three more teaspoons of fish sauce to it. We're going to stir well and we're going to allow it to cool. And then we will put it in the fridge and use it whenever we need to use um, an alternative to soy sauce. All right, that's it. Bye for now.